The Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-3 has successfully touched down on the surface of the moon. This momentous achievement is not only significant for India, but also for the world. India has become the first country to successfully land a spacecraft on the lunar south pole. While India is the fourth country to achieve a soft landing anywhere on the moon, the southern region's landing is particularly challenging. Chandrayaan-3 is expected to remain active for two weeks. During this time, it will conduct various research tasks, including analyzing the mineral composition of the moon's surface using a spectrometer. However, some people wonder about the fate of the moon mission and its devices after 14 days on the moon. The lander and rover of Chandrayaan-3 operate on solar energy and have a mission life of one lunar day, equivalent to about 14 Earth days. The sunlight on this part of the moon started on August 23. This is why ISRO chose this day for a soft landing. After Earth's 14 days, the sunlight on this part of the moon will cease for the next few days. During this entire cycle, the moon's surface temperature drops to as low as minus 180 degrees Celsius. Such extreme conditions could render technology and devices inoperative. Chandrayaan-3's lander and rover will conduct research on the moon's surface for 14 days. The collected data will be sent back to Earth via the Indian Deep Space Network. This research will contribute significantly to space science, enhancing India's prominence in the field. We have a uh, ILSA payload which is uh, which will be lowered from the moon uh, craft that is Vikram. It will be lowered using some ropes. It will touch the surface and measure the seismic activity on the moon. And once the Pragyan rover comes out, there will be two important ex experiments. And two of them, both of them are linked to the elemental composition and chemical composition of the surface of the moon. The first experiment will be using a laser beam. We will send a laser beam from the rover on the material. It will fuse it and then it will generate some spectroscopic information which will identify elements there. Another experiment is related to an alpha particle which will be emitted by the radioactive material sitting there. And that will generate certain X-ray fluorescence on the surface and that will be measured to find out the chemical composition. So these are the main experiments that are on board Chandrayaan-3 now. The rover will gather information about the moon's soil, environment, minerals and the possibility of water presence. It's a historic endeavour to collect data from a region that has remained in darkness for billions of years. The mission, costing Rs 600 crore, was launched on July 14 using the GSLV Mark III rocket. After a 41-day journey, the rocket successfully reached its destination, creating a celebratory atmosphere across the nation. On the other hand, Russia had also sent its Lunar 25 moon mission to land on a similar part of the moon, but the spacecraft lost control and crashed on the moon's surface.